I think I recall you mused about making official functionality for hypertube cannons. Any news regarding how CSS feels about hypertube cannons? So this information that I have is like super old, but I think it's the same. Um, I don't know if we're going to be... We're, we're not touching hypertube cannons. I think uh, last I spoke to Mark about this, which was like two years ago or something, uh, he was like, yeah, I kind of like hypertube cannons. Um, at the end of the day, they come at an extra cost, an extra power cost. They're kind of finicky to set up. They're not precise. And so I, I think I think he likes the idea that if you can make it work, um, then just go for it. But I don't know if we're... I, I haven't heard anything about like making like an official hypertube mm. cannon system. No. Um, but I think it's just like a, a fun sort of emergent thing so that, you know, that you guys, you'll have found out. If you don't know what they are, Google them, look on YouTube. Uh, you'll learn about them from other people and then you can make them yourself and they're fun to use yep. with jetpacks and stuff like that. So. One, one, one common feedback yeah. that I've heard is that like one way we could do it is we could make it so like you could overclock hypertube cannons maybe. Uh, so you wouldn't need to set up as many, but yeah, we don't have, as far as I know, there's no plans to, to touch any of that at all at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Focus on Cause like that's stuff. in the game now, like you can make that. It's just so. Yeah, that's true. That. That's true, Lumiere. Yeah, that's true. Help with that quite a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really good. 